So yes, this is my new Prada. Look at me, I mean, I look ridiculous. I feel like you just have to be brutal, like if you could get rid of it then just get rid of it. Hi, so today I'm going to be doing a wardrobe clear out. Now if you saw my recent video, I just got this whole wardrobe fitted and everything like that. And um, now I want to do a big wardrobe clear out, which is kind of weird. Like I feel like when you get to certain stages of things, you kind of then want to change everything again. Like, but I definitely found that once I had put in these wardrobes, um, I was really looking at my clothes in a different way. Like suddenly I could see everything in front of me and it was really making me like look at what I have and see what I could improve on and things like that. So I thought I need to do a wardrobe clear out and sort out the things that I don't like, I don't wear as much and then get in some new things that I do love and do want to wear all the time. Basically I just want things in my wardrobe that I wear all the time and I think there's a lot of things that I have that I don't necessarily like get enough use out of so there's not really much point having them but yes one of the new things that I got that I wanted to share with you was something I picked up at Vista Village which you may have seen in my other video um, but I wanted to share that in this video as well um, and do a little bit of an unbagging so this is the bag here and I'm going to show you what I got. You would have seen it already if you watched that other video, but I thought I would talk more about it in this video to start off with, and then I can start clearing out my closet of things that I don't wear as much. Okay, so here is the Prada bag uh, from Vista Village. Um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, unbox it or unbag it as it were, and share a little bit more info about it, I guess. So yes, this is the dust bag, uh, yeah it comes in this dust bag. This was a major bargain, like just such a great deal, I can't even believe the price of it. Um, but let me take it out of the bag. Yeah, so it comes in this kind of dust bag, which is like the original dust bags that they have. I know some of the um, dust bags that they have at the outlet are like really crap material. Um, and I think it's because those things are made specifically for the outlet, whereas this was like a runway piece and it was made for their main collection. So that's why it has this kind of dust bag. So this is the bag. I'll take it out. It's really like massive, so it doesn't fit that well in this dust bag. So yes, this is my new Prada um, nylon tote. I think it's like the padded nylon tote or something like that. Um, yes, and this is the neon like fluoro green colour. So yeah, this was from the Autumn Winter 18 Prada collection, which was like one of my all time favourite collections. I just loved it. Like there was all these neons and like these like just great prints and things like that. So yes, and this was one of the bags that was in that collection and they had them in different neon colours like this colour and they had a pink one and an orange one. Yeah, I think those were all the colours they had. And then I know that they released them in some other colours as well. Like I think they've done it in black and like yellow and white and other colours. But I really like this neon green colour because it kind of matches my um, Balenciaga Triple S shoes and I just think it's a really cool colour. I don't know if the colour is showing up correctly in this light because I'm kind of got the light coming right down here so it really um, it really makes the light weird I don't know what the best way of seeing this color is but you can't really see it so yeah I love this bag I think this came in two or three sizes like maybe two sizes which I wasn't really aware of I thought it only came in one size but actually I think came in two sizes, which was like the medium and the large. And I think this is the large one, which is why it is so massive. So yeah, it also came with this little shoulder strap, which is cool. I will put the shoulder strap on. It's just like a black shoulder strap, like a material one. And 
I like the black and the neon green together as well. I think that looks really, really cool. And obviously this is like extendable, this uh, strap as well. So you can kind of like have it like that, or you can like do it crossbody as well, which I love. So yeah, there's a lot of stuffing in this bag. So yeah, this is what the inside looks like. It's just like black lining and it's got this Prada plaque here. Um, yeah, and then that's it really. It doesn't have any other pockets inside, just that one pocket there. So this is the um, tag that came on the bag when I got it, you can see. And the price on here says that it was originally £1,040 and then it was reduced to £670 and then it was reduced again to £469 and on the day I went to Vista they had a sale on which I think was like either 20 or 30% off of everything but in a certain section I can't actually remember I'm not very good at maths, so I can't work it out. But this is the receipt here. Basically, the bag ended up costing like £295, which is an incredibly good deal, considering this bag was like £1,040 originally, and I really wanted this bag as well. So I was thrilled to get it for such a great price. Um, it's just massive. I think it will be really good for travelling. And... Um, yeah, obviously you can't really travel anywhere at the moment, but um, I do think once we can. I mean, I kind of think maybe the medium size, which is a bit smaller than this one, would, would have been a little bit better because you could use it for travel and for um, like everyday use as well. Um, but I just kind of like the look of the larger size, I think. I think this is the one they had on the runway as well. Maybe I'll include like a picture of what it looked like on the runway so you can see. Um, it's just really, really cool. And like I say, they have them, have them in other colours as well. So yes, yeah, this is my new bag addition to my closet. I wanted to unbox it, unbag it um, at the start of this video. And um, then I can get on with clearing out the rest of my closet. So yeah, as new things come in, new things will go out. So um, yeah, let me get on with my wardrobe clear out now. So yes, I will leave the um, bag down here for now um, with everything, because I haven't got enough space for it on the shelf here. So I now need to sort out um, some of my bags, I think. So this is my current kind of bag setup. So I'm gonna like, take some of these out that I'm thinking I might want to sell. I um, think I'm going to put some things on Vestia Collective um, to sell, like things that I maybe don't really use as much anymore. Um, so I'll le leave the link in the description to my Vestia Collective page and you will probably find some of these pieces on there because I just feel the time is now to do a proper clear out and as much as I'm clearing things out I'm also planning on replacing a few things as well so although I might seem like I'm being really harsh and like getting clearing a lot of stuff out but that's because I'm probably going to replace a few things as well. So the first bag that I think I'm going to sell is um, this bag which is a Balenciaga um, as I said when I got this Balenciaga bag, um, I think I'm going to clear out some of my other Balenciagas because um, I have quite a few and I just don't feel like I need to have as many as I do. Um, and this one I've had for quite a few years, I absolutely love it, I still think it's really cool, I still use it, but I'm going to sell it. So this is going to be on my vestiaire collective page, um, just a black um, Balenciaga work. I don't think they even make the work um, style anymore. It's a really good size. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that, I think. Um, also, the first bag, this is the first Balenciaga bag and the first designer bag I ever owned. So uh, yes, I'm going to be selling Annie 
which is really sad. I'm really sad about that, but um, I think it's time. Like I said, you've got to be brutal. So Annie's going to go, and also I'm going to sell um, this, which is a city bag from Balenciaga. Um, yes, this is the Ink City. Um, really good size again. Also going to go. I just love Balenciaga bags, but like, I don't know, I've had them for such a long time. I feel like they need to go to a different home now. So yes, also I'm going to be selling this, which is a oil slick clutch bag uh, from Balenciaga. It's really cool actually. I think this was from their 09 collection. Um, but I just have never really worn it a lot because it's a clutch bag. It's sort of like hard to wear. So that's going to be going as well. Um, so yes, I'm going to move the shelves around as well so that I can fit my new Prada bag in. So I think I'm also going to be getting rid of this Louis Vuitton bag. Um, I think I'm going to get a bigger size of this because, uh, I don't know, like, I was always undecided when I got it whether or not I should get the 35 or the 40, and I think I'm going to get the 40. Because I've had the 35 for quite a long time, and I like it a lot, but I just think that maybe the, the 40 is more practical for me now than the 35, which I don't wear very much. And then I'm also going to be selling this Goyard bag. I think I'm going to get the black version of this rather than the brown. I really like the brown, but I think I'm just going to sell this one and get the black one. So as I said, I'm going to be switching a few things up. So yeah, I'm now going to move the shelves around, I think, and then put the Prada on the shelf. That's the good thing about those shelves, you can just move them around really, really easily. So that's kind of how my bag collection is looking now. Um, like I said, I'm going to be replacing these two with uh, different versions. So this one will go here, and that one will go there, I think. So yeah. So maybe I'll leave those there for now, but they will be on my Vestia Collective page along with all these other bags. Now I think I'm going to go through maybe my clothes and then have a big clear out of that as well. Um, and I'm not sure about what I'm going to do about shoes yet, I haven't actually decided. So yeah, let me just go over here and I will start sorting through my clothes as well. So I've kind of taken some things out that I think I want to get rid of. I'll show you what I've picked out down here. So I think I'm going to get rid of this coat. This I don't wear at all. Like I got this from Urban Outfitters or something for like a raincoat. I'm just never going to wear that. So most of these things are probably going to go to charity, like the things that aren't like designer. This coat I think I've, is like a bit too worn out, I don't really wear it anymore. This one is the same thing. Um, this is like a really old like cardigan that I don't wear. This is a jumper, like a vintage jumper that I don't wear. Um, this is like a nice jacket from Zara. It's like a sort of Chanel style jacket, but I just don't wear it. I think it's a bit too small for me, so that's why I don't wear it. This is a blazer I got from a charity shop. I'm not worried about sending that back to the charity shop. I'm not sure about this one. I really love this jumper, um, but it's a bit small for me. That's the other thing, like there's quite a few things that are a bit small. I'm also not sure about this jumper. I'm just not crazy about jumpers. I've had this for ages. I might keep this, I'm not sure. 
Um, this jumper from Arquette. I like it and I got it not that long ago, but I'm not crazy about jumpers. It's weird. Um, these shirts I've had for like years. This is one I got from a charity shop. This is one I got from And Other Stories. Uh, I don't really wear them. These are just some green t-shirts. These are some Balenciaga jeans. These might go on vestiaire. Um, yeah, that one and that pair. I think these ones, the blue ones are too small for me. And the green ones I just don't wear. And actually I've got another pair from H&M that I like more. These are J brand. They might go on vestiaire as well. They're like a blue pair. Um, and then yeah, these are just some other jeans from Topshop and Zara. So yes, those are some of the things that I think that I'm going to get rid of. Um, also, I think I'm going to be putting this on Vestia Collective as well. This is a Vivian Westwood um, pirate hat, which I bought years ago. It's really cool. Really cool. This was only sold at the World's End store in London. It's like a re make i mean this is super cool i mean i kind of feel bad selling this because it's amazing but i just don't wear it because obviously look at me i mean i look ridiculous but it's i don't know it's really cool hopefully nobody buys it in order to properly like clear my closet out like i think that having a good wardrobe is not necessarily just about having a lot of stuff it's also about having stuff that you really love and like you're really going to wear a lot and i feel like in order to strengthen my wardrobe i need to um strengthen the things that i wear so that every piece that i have is like somehow um you know something a reflection of me but um it's really hard to do because some things I'm really attached to like and I want to keep for like archival purposes like this hat and like some of the shoes that I have as well like I just feel like there's so much like this is obviously from like the original like Vivian Westwood pirate collection which from the 80s like that's it's like a remake of one of those hats so it's really hard to get rid of things like this because you know they are historically relevant and like that's when it becomes like, what do I do with it? Like, you know, I'm not gonna wear it, but I, I just can't get rid of it. So um, yeah, but I think I'm gonna sell that. So maybe someone will buy it and somebody will put it in a museum, you know? It will be in the V&A. Okay, I think I'm gonna go through some of my jewelry, maybe. Um, let's see what's in here that I wanna get rid of. I think I'm gonna sell this um, Hermes, Kelly Double Tour because I really like the box leather that my Collier de Chêne is but um, this is actually not, this is the Chamonix leather um, from Hermes and I kind of want to get these in the same leather so I think I'm going to sell my Kelly Double Tour on Vestiaire. So yeah that's the um, Kelly Double Tour bracelet. So this is in the Chamonix leather, this is the uh, Hermes Collier de Chêne and as you can see this is like a more glossy leather this is more like matte so I want to get the Kelly Double Tour in the same leather so then I can like wear them together because when I got this like I didn't really know about like the different leathers and stuff from Hermes there's loads of things in here that I could get rid of but um, definitely want to keep my Prada thing I like that um, this bracelet's nice I mean I don't wear that um, I could get rid of some of the jewellery. This is quite cool, I might keep that. This I don't, I don't wear, I don't wear a lot of jewellery in general. I'm going to keep those, I'll keep, throw those maybe. I feel like you just have to be brutal, like if you could get rid of it, then just get rid of it. I think I'm going to keep that like that. Okay, so I'm going to go through these drawers now and see oh, sunglasses in here. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of that. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to keep those things. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this Fendi Monster because I don't really use this one. This is um, Archie, I think. I'm going to get rid of that one. 
Um, I've got this one as well, but I think I'm going to keep this one because I like this one. Well, yeah, I don't really wear it anymore. I mean, I've got some, I should probably get rid of these belts. I don't wear those. I mean, look, there's literally nothing. I'm not going to have anything left by the end of this. Um, cause so many things I just don't wear. This is just boxes in here. So that's that. I think maybe I go through my shoes next. Let's see. So these are some of my shoes. I could probably get rid of quite a lot of these, to be honest, because I don't wear a hell of a lot of these. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of these, these Vivian Westwood uh, seditionary boots. I just don't wear them either. Um, I really like them though. Like, oh, yeah, so I think I'm going to get rid of those. Um, I have these, I mean I love these, but I haven't worn them, but I am going to wear them and I'm going to keep them. Um, yeah, these boots, again, like all of this stuff up here is just like archival, I just, some of the things, I feel like maybe I should put things in boxes, because this is, this is like my practical wardrobe now, like this is not like just archival things, I want to be wearing everything in here and like look at things to wear them. Um, but yeah, some of these pieces are just too good to get rid of, like, these are the Balenciaga harness boots from, like, 06 or something, they're just, I wanted them so badly, but I just should really get rid of them, because I can't wear them, like, they're even too small for me, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of them, but we'll see, these are also Balenciaga runway boots, uh, shoes from... 07, spring summer 07, which I just love, but when am I going to wear these anymore, you know, it's not really my thing, I wear flats now, I don't really wear heels, um, these are the same as the other, like the seditionary boots, these are like the heel version, they're the bondage boots from Vivian Westwood, and then these are the bag boots from Vivian Westwood, um, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of these Converse because I don't really wear those anymore. I want to get the Chanel Espadrilles, so I'm going to clear those out because they're just like a copy of the Chanel Espadrilles. Those are just some flip-flops. I'll probably keep them because they're just whatever. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do about these Westwood boots up here. Maybe I should put some things into like an archive. But then look, I've got like no shoes. So I really want to get some, I don't know what else shoes I want to get to be honest. Um, I want to get some of the Chanel sandals, but they're really hard to get. Like if they weren't so hard, I would have got them already. Um, these are Chanel uh, trainers, which are cool, but like they're really in your face. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So yeah, it's really hard to decide like what to do about certain things. Like certain things you just don't want to get uh, uh, get rid of, like you're attached to them. Like, especially if you love fashion like me, like some pieces just feel like they're too historically relevant to get rid of. So it's really hard to know what to do. But I really want to have a wardrobe that is like practical for my, you know, and things that I wear uh, every day and things that I can wear, and like when I go into my closet, I see just a plethora of things that I want to wear, and I think that's really the goal, you know? I think it's actually really helpful as well, if you are doing a wardrobe clear out, to think about what things you might like replace the things you're getting rid of uh, with as well, because then you don't feel so bad about getting rid of them, you know? Like if you think to yourself, oh, well, I'm gonna get this other thing that I really want instead, then you don't feel so bad about um, getting rid of one of the things that you have, you know, that maybe you've loved for years. Uh, if you think, oh, well, maybe I'll get this instead, um, or maybe my wardrobe will be, like, consistently better if I don't have things that are from 10 years ago. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little wardrobe clear out. I think what I'm gonna do for now with the shoes is that I'm gonna leave like these Westwood shoes and the Balenciaga ones, the archive like heels. I'm gonna leave them in there for now um, and then I obviously wanna fill up 
the rest of my shoes down here, like get some Chanel espadrilles, some Chanel sandals maybe. And yeah, have some other shoes that I can wear every day. So yeah, that's all for this video. Anyway, check out my Vestia Collective, like I said. Um, so yeah, I will see you in my next video.